hi guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to easily cut and sew this beautiful skirt pattern with very easy steps so if you'd love to watch more sewing and pattern drafting videos make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you won't miss out whenever i post a new video so to make this skirt i am going to be using this fabric that i have folded in the middle as you can see i have two pieces of fabric one is the back piece and the other one is the front piece i'll place the front on top of the back like i am doing like that then i'm going to get my chalk and measuring tape and plot my waist to hip measurement so i'll just get my measuring tape and plot from my waist this is my waistline that is where i'll put my waist to hip measurement with my measuring tape and my waist to hip measurement is nine inches i'm going to mark on nine inches like that then i'm going to draw a horizontal line on this hip line then the next step i'll get my waist to skirt full length so for the skirt full length it's up to you to decide how long you want the skirt to be so in my case i want it to be not too long so I'll put my skirt full length plus hemming allowance then i'm going to draw a horizontal line like i am doing so that is the full length of my skirt this is my waist to hip line then i'll put my hip circumference divided by four on this hip line and my waist circumference divided by four on my waistline dividing by four because after folding the front and back part of the skirt we're making four equal parts so that is why i'm dividing by four so my waist circumference divided by four plus half inch wiring is and two inches of seam allowance is what i'm putting on my waist line here then i'll move on to my hip i'll put my hip circumference divide by four plus half inch wiring is and two inches of seam allowance on my hip line then on my skirt full length i'll get the what is on my hip i'll just divide subtract two so the measurement on my hip line i'll subtract two and form my full length of skirt so on my hip i had 10 inches subtract two it will give me eight inches because i wanted to form some pencil pattern that is why i'm subtracting two then i'm going to connect these points from my waist to hip i'm going to use my hip curve ruler And curve and connect the points like that so that is my curve ruler then for my hip to the full length of skirt I'll just use my straight ruler like that So I've just uh, formed the skirt shape. Then next I'm going to cut it out with my pair of scissors. Like that. So when cutting out your fabric, make sure you use a separate pair of scissors that is strictly for fabric don't mix paper scissors with your fabric scissors otherwise your fabric scissors is going to be bland you have to try and have two separate pairs of scissors one for the fabric and the other one for the paper patterns so on my back side of skirt I'm going to cut it and separate it in the middle as well i'll cut the center back because i'm going to put um 
my zipper on this back so I'm going to cut the center back like that but the front is going to remain uncut I'll leave the front but the cut the back will be cut because there will be a um, zipper and also a vent so now that I have cut I'm going to place the right sides facing right sides then I'm going to stitch my skirt on my sewing machine so I'll just put my my front part which is uncut like that this is the right side then I'll put the back side also to face the right side of the front then I'm going to stitch from the wrong sides I hope that's clear as you can see the right sides are facing each other I'll stitch right here on the wrong sides on my sewing machine so I'm going to use my hand sewing machine and like I said the right sides are facing each other I'm going to as you can see the right sides are facing each other I'm going to stitch from the wrong side of the fabric right here on my seam allowance so I have I left a quite big seam allowance that I can easily trim off later on once I'm done stitching I find it better to leave uh, a bigger seam allowance than a smaller one so that in case of any alterations after sewing you need to leave enough seam allowance so I'm just going to stitch with my hand sewing machine as you can see there wrong sides on the wrong sides so these are my seams I'm just stitching my straight stitch I'll keep pulling my hand sewing machine like that till I reach at the end so I've just finished um, sewing the wrong side this is the final right side look at how good and neat my stitch looks there it looks so neat and nice I'm going to do the same on the other side I'll stitch and I'll show you guys what next after I stitch so I have just stitched on the other side as well this is the other side of the skirt I just finished stitching as you can see it looks so so neat very very neat So both the left and right are stitched and connected the next I'm going to go on my waistline and I'm going to put my waistband so this is my waistband and I've ironed on fusible interfacing to make my waistband stiff and thick I wanted my waistband to be thick sorry I didn't film when I was ironing on the fusible interfacing so I'll get the right side of my waistband and I'm going to let the right side face the right side of the skirt and pin from the wrong side with my safety pins then so I have just pinned my waistband to my skirt as you can see those are the pins that I used and then I'm going to stitch right there and I'm going to show you how to stitch and how beautiful it's going to look so those are the pins that I have pinned my waistband to my skirt so I've just finished sewing my waistband to the skirt and this is how beautiful and neat it looks looks so lovely as you can see guys very beautiful very very neat and the infusible interfacing gives my waistband a good good look so the next thing I'll do is I'm going to put my zipper and hem the skirt and also sew the vent so this is the zipper that I'm going to be using I'm going to put it right there then I'm going to stitch it for those of you that may not know how to sew the zipper I have linked in my description a video so I've just finished sewing my skirt and this is how beautiful it looks it looks so nice 
thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos bye